All right. <laughs> Howdy, everybody. Back in the project. Not. I didn't get a lot done today. Um, just kind of messing around. It's a crummy day. Um, but I did do a little bit. I took the door, the doors off, and the, the top piece off of the shower because it was just getting in my way, and it was time. And I started a little bit, I didn't start layout, I just started to make measurements. The first thing I want to do is figure out the drop of my ceiling. Right? I gotta figure that out. Um, I'm not, here's, here's an important factor. Uh, here's, here's one thing that I know I don't want you to see. I don't want you to see the shower head um, like if it's like say you're over here at the counter, right? You know at the uh, the vanity, the sink. I don't want you to I don't want you to be able to see the, the shower head, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try to hide that, but I can't hide it. I might not be able to hide it completely, because if I do that, you know I have to the high, the higher it is, and I don't want it to be you know like all the way up there. Uh, so I'm just I'm messing with the idea. Of how much of the shower head I want you to see. So that's what I got to figure out. And now the sink, uh, the the shower, the base is going to be a lot. You know, it's off the ground by well the curb. That's what maybe a six, seven, eight inch curb, and the base, the basin, the shower, the shower basin is three inches or so, something like that. So. I'm contemplating putting in a minimal curb, I, you know, a very, the minimal curb possible, and the, the, it's going to be tiled. I'm going to tile it, uh, the basin. And the curb, like I said, it's going to be minimal. I don't need a big curb. I'd like to not do a curb at all, uh, but that's, that's something I'm kind of just toying, messing around, toying with. But back to the shower head. That's what I'm trying to figure out today. That's why I made a bunch of measurements. You'll see them here, you know, 38 inches, 34 to the corner. My, my shelf is four inches, you know, and, and uh, that measures 46 and a half. And, you know, I, got, I just got various measurements as, as reference. You know, it's 82 and a half to the floor from here to the floor. So um, I'm just getting an idea of where I want to drop the ceiling. I have I have kind of made my mind up. I want to run my I'm going to run my two by this way. And once I frame this out like a, you know a rectangular box, I'm going to run my two by my bracing this way because when I run my new water hose, my water supply, I can drill holes through my bracing and run it. And this light is going to be behind the shower head. And I have to figure out where I want the center of this shower to be, uh, as far as the um, the shower head's concerned. I, I'm kind of basically just, and there's that word basically, you know, I don't like that word. <laughs> I'm just uh, kind of, I, so I need to get a couple things figured out. Where I want my shower middle to be, I don't care where the drain is. The drain can be in the middle, that's fine. But as far as the shower head is concerned, I want to figure out where that's going to be. Because don't forget, I'm going to have that little um, fold-up uh, bench. So I want to figure if I want to have... I don't think I want it this close to this wall. Like, I think I want it... Like, here's the middle. I should have took a measure of where the middle is. Let me, let me, uh, let me get some more measurements done and, and I'll come back. Hold on. Okay, here's another little interesting tidbit. Okay, so the back wall is 46 and a half inches. This wall, between the two partitions originally, was like 47, was over 47. So this thing kind of, it, it bows out, and it's probably this wall, because they put some, I don't know if you can see it, they put some OSB behind it. So they actually had to build this wall out to accept this shower enclosure. They had to build it out. They had to build it out. So it's all focaccia. I mean, you can see, look at that wall. You see the how, you might not be able to see it, but it, it goes like this, right? And that's why I put the word tapers. See where it says tapers down? Because it's 46 and a half up there, but it actually tapers down. You can see it. See how that tapers? Look at that. And this one tapers too. See how that tapers? Tapers down. So they actually had to do a lot of work to get this shower, 
enclosure, the, the shower box, I'll call it, to get the box in. We had to do a lot of work. All right, so but getting back to my middle. My middle is 23 and a quarter. That's, and look, look how far out this is. This is, uh, what, you know, 18 inches or so. So I have a lot of room. I don't think I want to put the shower head right in the middle of... I don't know if I do or not. I mean, I don't know if anything would be wrong with it. If I want to just put it, you know, if I want to have the shower head here or if I want to move it over, you know, and over here somewhere, I got to think about that. I mean, there might not be anything wrong with it. The shower head's going to be, I think it's a, like a 12 inch square. There's various sizes out there. I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to try to get the biggest one I can that'll fit, you know, appropriately in this, in this box or not this box, but my new, my new shower. The bench, I gotta, I gotta research and see how far the bench sticks out. Uh, the bench is, it's a nice retractable, and I have to, of course, reinforce behind here to accept the bolts because it's, it's, it's not going to be the only thing going to be supporting it is the anchor into this wall. So I'm going to have to really engineer that really good. Right? Okay. So that's what I've been working on. Just a little, you know. Just something to do to because as I do this it's making me think about other things so that's why I kind of do my layout because it's just giving me ideas like where do I want to start and how you know I'm still back to how far down I want to drop my my ceiling in here because it's I'm gonna I'm gonna tile the ceiling in here too I'm gonna be putting Duroc on there it's gonna be tiled this whole thing is gonna be tiled it's, this whole enclosure will be tiled so um, I just have to figure out how, how high up I want to have that shower head so you can't see it. I mean, it might be okay to see some of it uh, when, when the, you know, say the shower's on. I, I just, I, you know what? I think if you see the water, the rain, uh, and not the shower head itself, that might be a way to go. Uh, but I'm going to work on that. So it's, it's a work in progress. I haven't, I've got my lumber. I got three, I went to Lowe's. I got three 2 by 4 by 8s uh got that so but i haven't opened up my shop so i'm still in the in the planning phase but i do know i want to run my braces this way so i can drill holes for my supply line uh going this way through through the brace so all right i'll leave you with this shot of me again <laughs> yeah i know not much going on so um that's just a little update all right thanks for watching and there's going to be more to come as usual, all right?